a dose of vitamin rage, elusive cognitive play. I'm peace that cop in a cage, that piece that don't pass the mark. A plea that serves as a spark. For me, it's not any darker than it's been all my days. The first person to run the person to stay working, I'm hurting the loan of the shit. I've been stepping on alibis, cause nobody, that's just what it is. Keeping a hearse reserve, and that's just doing business. That voice is over. Eyes up, brown down, fives up, black shrouds, wise up, never get down. That's just using judgment. Cause of the words of the punishment. Yeah. Case of an uneven government. Wanna see maybe his corpus stick around? You saw the shit in house with that was fixed up in Geneva. Galatea and Paris streets with first world people struggle eating. Beating Zara, civil service, IDF, I guess for Gaza. ISIS paid for my vacation. At least I died for Allah, mama. Hey, you can be my 72, feel me? <laughs> Be there with them. Shut up. I just started. <laughs> good evening. Good afternoon. Good morning. Whatever it is. A fantabulous new year to you on this one of our final quarantine streams, or the final one for this year. Uh, yeah, um, very exciting, uh, this one's probably gonna be a little shorter, I don't know, it depends on how long it takes for me to do the stuff in the game, because I have a bunch of other stuff I need to do, I make pizza, make cookies, uh, drink, do karaoke, Hell yeah. yeah, all those things, um, uh, let's see. Oh, I need my, can you have my tablet? Yeah. 
let me oh i don't know why i closed that page uh bring back the music bring it back Give me a second. I gotta do stuff. Son of a bitch. And peace and love on the planet Earth. Do 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 Okay. Now we're ready to go. Absolutely ready to go. Um, rip to the villain. The man with the iron mask and the Cosby sweater. MF Doom. Uh, we all just learned of his passing on Halloween. Um, as we uh, lose another one to... Uh, to... Uh, the viral uh, infection of the moment. Um, I won't claim to be a Doom super fan. I definitely can't dig deep and in the discography and and point you to the um, the best cuts, the lesser known cuts. Um, but mm, food is definitely on rotation. One of my car albums for a while. Um, and he is singularly unique and highly influential and uh he's great um anyone could tell you that and i'm sure lots of people are so uh take some time today you know go see what people are posting their favorite songs their favorite bars go listen to some of that and uh you know appreciation for uh a niche in the genre that uh, occupied its own space but also uh, secretly influenced uh, so 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 many so always got to celebrate someone who uh, brings the art forward and uh, you know uh, just uh, just keep keep that uh, the, the pieces that you love the pieces that inspired you and um, through that way, we continue uh, each other's uh, art and legacy. So uh, today, we are going to be, let me get into the game. We are getting into Smart Night in the Woods, as you know. Um, Let's see, last time we went cave trash digging, we uh, we jumped off a bridge with Germ and saw his his possum friend, pet. Uh, we went grave digging with B, and we s experienced some sort of celestial godlike creature that exists in uh, beyond temporality and past present and future um, and it was really trippy and uh, overwhelming um, so today we uh, let's see what happens I think we're gonna hang out with Greg tonight um, but uh, let me just jump in Let's see what the folks are saying at home. Tech, techonomy today. 
Turnup founder Mike Eggplant to buy Postal Service. Wow, always great to have an entrepreneur at the head of public services who definitely do not want those public services to go away uh, and will not run them into the ground. Um, uh, planets are to be pitied as I uh, the same one. I wonder what happened to uh, Angus. Hey, dude. At the old snacking. Come save me from boredom supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. Morning at the pickaxe if you're in town center today. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Wow. Always nice to hear from our friends. And, oh, wait. I, didn't, I, didn't, I, I forgot to point out all the cool shit we got last time. Hold on. I mean, I know I pointed out last time, but I want to really revel in it. So we got a fucking cool axe. We got this, like, baritone alto horn looking thing. Although the, the mouthpiece is in a weird ass location. Maybe it's more of a like weird post horn or something. I don't know. Uh, we got football helmet and we got coconut monkey and fucking stoked. Howdy family of yesteryear. Howdy grandfather clock. What's up bird? Bird. I kind of get you now. All like trapped and shit. I should let you out. Nah. Woo. Yeah. What a sour look. Honey, you okay? Uh, mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? No. Oh, honey, is that why you came home? No, not at all. Sweetie, you can tell me. I've been there. And despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. You were a miracle, baby. That's me, a miracle. After all the miscarriages, we'd given up hope. And then there you were. And here I am now. So if you're pregnant, I'm not pregnant. I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else? <laughs> sure. You know, if you did have a baby, okay, I'm out. Ha ha ha, okay, sweetie. I'm sorry, I get excited about grandbabies. It's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you too. Yes, we have confirmed after yesterday that uh, May has not been in a situation where pregnancy uh, is a thing that can happen. Did you beat your boss? No. <laughs> Laura's playing uh, Ori in the Will of the Wisp and she's getting owned by boss. <laughs> hey, May. You all right? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like you went through the dryer on the wrong setting. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Long week is all. You want to hear a poem? Cheer you up? Sure. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report, life is too short. Haha. <laughs> Here's another happy one. Life is great. But life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Selmers. They cheer you up? They did? Yeah. Yeah. Jazz cow's up there again. You ever, like, drop that telescope? Oh, no, he'd cry his eyes out. He loves that thing more than his kid. He has a kid? Yeah, name's Colin. Visits every once in a while. He's hot as hell. You talk to him? Nah, he works at some university research place. He's not interested in this. Selmers. Eh. They do karaoke at Miller's, but only like twice a week. Should be every night. 
Hell yeah. That would liven up this town. Nightly karaoke. Bad weather coming soon. I feel it in my bones. Bones. Can I triple jump onto this guy? What? Two. There we go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoops. Alright, let's see what Chaz has got for us today. Oh. Huh. May. Mr. Chazkov, you look a bit worse for wear today, May. Oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? Watch yourself lest you fall. Will do. Here to see some stars. You know it. Come, have a look. And... <sighs> see, I'm used to it this time. My eyes have adjusted to the blinding of the light. You did it? You beat your boss? <laughs> wow, she's over here doing a fucking touchdown celebration. <laughs> uh. Gotcha. Oh, which one is this? Adina Astra. <gasps> you know this one? Yes, I know this one. It's a common story. How Adina journeyed to the frozen lake. How she traversed unknown faraway lands was very into Adina stories when I was a kid. So you must know what became of her. Yeah. How she, in her quest, turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth, where her stars were no longer over her head, and how she was never seen again. Yeah. Whatever. Is that not a sad ending? No, disappearing isn't the same as dying. She probably went somewhere else completely. And did all kinds of cool shit. Oh my. Yeah, so, whatever. I got one? Let us see. Cole the Mountaineer. Cole. New guy named Cole once. That's close. He is. So, what's up with this guy? Cole was from my flat land. The Midwest. Whatever the Midwest of wherever he was from was. Every place is a Midwest. This is true. He dreamed of mountains and devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was flat? Isn't this a common instinct? To seek that which is unlike where one grows up. Uh, yeah. I mean, people go to the city a lot. Like, they move there because it's got stuff and there's more people like them, maybe. Sucks, though. Not everyone can just up and leave. When I left my country... I felt the same thing, but I have not regretted it. You like Possum Springs? It is beautiful in ways perhaps invisible to those who have seen it every day of their lives. So what happened to Call? He returned home and complained that the sky felt heavy. He had been up into the clouds and now they rested hard upon him. It's a really specific complaint. When one leaves a place, one brings something back when one returns. One. One. Oof, that's all for the day. That was nice. Pretty sweet, the stars I'm in. I am in agreement. Wait, does that mean we have... Two more days? Did they extend it? I think the game has been extended. I'm, I'm trying to remember the differences. 
Because I haven't played it since they did that the patch like later in the year that it came out and I know they added a bunch of stuff So I'm just trying to remember what's different I mean, it's, it's the same game. There's just more stuff Seems like May has been worse for wear over the last few days. All this craziness is getting to her. And it's obvious to everyone else around her. You know, apparently she has a history of, you know, having it rough, flying off the handle, doing stuff she regrets. But you know what? Who doesn't do that from time to time? High five. See old Bruce. Tree always fucked up. Hey, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you tell Pastor Kate something for me? Sure. But don't tell her this till tomorrow. Can you do that? Sure. Tell her I said thank you. And I'm sorry I caused her trouble. But I'm not worth throwing away her job. She's the pastor after all. Folks need her. Are you leaving? Yep. I'm gonna hop a train tonight. Head at east. Where will you go? I'm going home. Wow, really? Never gonna touch a bottle again. Never gonna lift a hand to no man again. Sit on my daughter's front porch, watch my grandbabies play in the yard. They'll all be there. Gonna get off that train. My kids are gonna be there. They'll have a sign they made. Nothing fancy. Poster board and markers. Welcome home, Dad. And I'll be home. That sounds great, Bruce. Yep, yep. Thanks for talking to me. It was nice to get to know you. You too, Bruce. Gonna miss you. We'll all meet again. I hope so. Hope's important. It's the last thing you got. You take care of yourself. You too, May. I'll be fine, you know. I'm an old hand at this. Maybe older than I should have ever got to. But I'll be fine. See you around, Bruce. Goodbye, May. Well, that's good for you, man. Alright. Let me see something real quick. Correspondence with his family? Are they asking him to come back home? It's a nice end of that story. If that's the case, of course, we can never really know, but I'm better off thinking that's what happened, right? Hey, hon. Are you still having headaches? Yeah, but being out and about helps. Fresh air. Thanks for visiting me here, hon. It brightens my day. It feels weird being here today. Like, there's so much empty space. Come on Sunday. It's full then. I bet it is. Gotta get back to work, sweetie. See ya, mommers. See ya, daughters. Oh, it's these guys. The busybodies. Because there will be children here. And this is a historic church. And that's half empty. That's your job to fix, not ours. The population drain in this region, you have to know this place will never be full again. We have the space, and we have people who need space. We have resources, and we have poverty. And not in some far off place or some big city. Right here, right across the street. Katie, it's our number one job right now to bring businesses into town. 
Businesses mean jobs, and jobs means people. We have to do what we can to get the attention of the market. And having a half-dead church stacked full of bums... Thanks for your time. We'll see you for the vote tomorrow night. Thank you, Kate. You have a good heart, Kate. Thank you all for coming. Ah, stressful day. Some days you need grace more than others. Was this all about Bruce? It was. Is. Whatever. It's out of our hands now. But there are better hands than mine. Hmm. Anyway, how are you, May? Eh. Eh. Sounds serious. I guess. So, like, things have been rough lately. I can see that. What seems to be the trouble? I think I met God. What? I don't think it was a dream. Oh, wow. That happens, right? Or it, like, happened? Sure. Can you tell me about it? It was like the shore of this giant black ocean. I could see, like, forever into the sky, and below it was just sand, as far as I could see. I was wandering through it, but I was, like, drawn to something, and I came up over this, what do you call it, a hill made of sand? A dune. Yeah, a dune. And there was God, just sitting there up on another hill, or dune, whatever. Just hanging out? Yeah. Seemed like they were really into just hanging out. Did they say anything? Yep. They like, didn't care. They didn't care if you were there? No, I mean, they didn't care, in general. They went on and on about how annoyed they were, that people kept coming to them with questions, and annoyed that anyone thought they were God to begin with. Well, I don't think that was God then. Why? If something tells you it isn't God, you should probably believe it. No, what I mean is that the thing we call God isn't God. It's just a thing, and it doesn't care. Hmm. They kept talking about... This giant hole in the center of everything rowing. That sounds very lonely. Have you been feeling lonely lately? No. No, I mean, I've got friends. I've been with them every day since I got home, but, hmm. There's this deep down loneliness. Been there for years. Since, well, just been a long time. I've been there. I mean, I'm there all the time. I think that's where, if we open ourselves up, God can enter our lives most effectively. I don't think I believe in God anymore. If you want the truth, I think everyone doesn't believe in God, for at least a few minutes a day. Hmm. Faith is a process. You have to keep getting up and choosing to go on. Do you really think there's a God? Like, literally someone up there listening? Is that something you completely believe? Hmm. I don't know. Oh. On my best days, I think I do. But there are times where I don't. But, but you stand up there every Sunday and tell people you do. And even you're not sure? It's your job to believe. Well, I think it's more my job to serve others. But you're lying to people. How? You stand up there and tell people to believe in something you don't 100% believe in yourself. Maybe you're right, May. And maybe I should get up there every week and give some sort of tally of how much I believed that week. But who would that help? But you're a pastor. You can't tell me whether or not God is up there. Whether anyone is watching. Anyone who gives a shit. No, but... 
Then what is the point of you? I have to go. Okay. Seems like a lot of these conversations end uh, a little awkwardly. Uh, looking for answers in all the wrong places. Although you think this is the house of answers, right? But maybe we were just spreading our existential questionings to others like a disease. Or maybe we're right. Who knows? God only knows. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. Talk the kid first. Hey, it's that guy. Still up here? I mean, I left and went to work and so forth since we met. Hmm. Is that a fiddle? It's a violin. That's like the same thing, right? It's a violin, I assure you. Okay, dude. <clears throat> what up, kid? Hey, kid. What you up to? Hey, adult. Nothing. Sounds good. Was gonna go down to the tracks. Did you want to come? Sounds good, actually. Oh, good, good, good. Let's go. Totally, let's... Let's go hang out with the kid. Wow, been a while since I've been here. My house is like three minutes from here. Got the longest night lights from last year still up. Haha, <laughs> someone on my street does that too. We got pumpkins last year and we left them out too long. And they like... liquefied. Oh yeah, I remember that happened with ours one year. My mom was so mad at my dad. It was his job to get rid of them. He had to like... mop it up. I've seen like a time lapse video of when a corpse decays and like everything liquefies. We're all goo deep down. Yep. Okay, so like a cool thing to do is squish a metal thing on the tracks. I like that a lot. Cool. I brought a little metal, dude. Let's see what happens. Sounds good, kid. Come here out now. I come out here at night sometimes and fall asleep between the tracks. That sounds dangerous. I feel excited and I can sleep. You ever have that where you're so excited you go to sleep? I have stress dreams if I'm too keyed up. I don't remember my dreams. Sometimes I fall asleep for like five minutes, but sometimes it's for like an hour. That's some risky business there. Oh God. I have weird thoughts, like, Sometimes I want to go to sleep in the woods or in the basement of an abandoned house during the day and only come out at night and be like a monster and like beautiful. Those are like really attainable dreams. Oh, haha. <laughs> I'm not beautiful. Oh, you're fine. No one your age like how, likes how they look. I'm objectively gross. Way less gross than I was. Do you think? Guaranteed. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we got. Whoa. Yay. Your little metal guy is all, wow. He represents the human soul. This is important art. 
<laughs> well, I gotta get rolling. Okay, 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 okay. Let's roll. Waiters. That was nice. That was cute. Just hanging out with this funky kid, Lorim. Stay golden, Lorim. I'm gonna check on our babies again. My little babies. Check on my little babies. Looks like they're just chilling out here. Anything new? No? I could have sworn something happens when you do this. Maybe I have to wait. Is that little Joe? done here. Our babies don't need us anymore. Maybe I'll check in on the final day or something. seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. You want to talk about it? Nah. Okay. Oof. What are you up to today? Wandering around town. Yeah, fun. Oh, I can still hang out with B. I might just do that then. I don't know if that prolongs the game or if I cut into one of my remaining nights. Uh, I'm still going to talk to uh, Angus and Greg, but I think there was the thing that I was thinking about that I, that I might have missed uh, with B. I think that's what that is, so I might try to do that. Hey, man. Hey, dude. Totally. What's up? Nothing. You okay? Yep. Okay. Sorry. Don't mind me. Okay, see you, dude. <clears throat> so I says to her, Mabel, get off the dang table. Ha ha ha. And she goes, why don't you just climb up here with me? No way. It's true. We both danced on that table. Nearly broke the damn thing. Somehow I can't see it. Well, you had to be there. I really didn't. Ooh. Yup. Ah, oh, fuck. This is my friend, May. Hey, May. What's, oh, let's see. Hey, May. What's up? Cool name. Gracias. Much obliged. Angel's destined town between trains or Angel on hell. Going west next? Yeah, then south for the winter. Like a dirty birdie. Down to the gulf. Lay in the sun. Eat me some crawfish. What? <laughs> This guy, this guy hit one through ten different accents. I'm just gonna do the first one. Uh, actually, Angel, you might be able to answer a question. Shoot, bro. Have you met anyone named Casey out on the rails? Hmm, let me think. You know what he or she look like? He, he looked kind of like me. A little taller, orangish hair. 
Nah, man. I don't recollect. But I've seen like a thousand dudes out there. It's okay. I'll tell you what. I'll ask around, and if I find him, or someone who's seen him, I'll say that May from Possum Springs is looking for him. Thanks. That means a lot. I owe you. Nah, nah. It's a cold world. Run by the worst people. Good men die for God knows what reason. We gotta take on, like, duties for one another, you know? Yeah. Thanks again. What's traveling like? It's good, it's good. Never could stay in one spot. I have, like, the exact opposite problem. Alright, partners. Time for me to shove off. See ya, Angel. Stay safe. Adios. Well, that's over. No fun? No fun. Something bad's coming. I know. It's a ghost germ. A real life ghost. There aren't ghosts. Ghosts aren't a thing. How do you know? My brother would have visited. Jeez. Well, dinner time. See ya. Sorry, I guess. Like 15 minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Just gotta make sure the pizza dough comes out. So a little time to come up to temp. But then I gotta separate it and then put the other half into the fridge. But let the one that we're gonna bake uh, rest after I shape it. Excuse me. What's up, Tudor? Hey. How you holding up? Surviving. And the weirdest dream last night. Really? I saw some space bugs. No, not space bugs. Like, not bugs. And not in space. Like, things beyond bugs. In some place beyond space. I fell asleep on the couch watching Judge Kathy. Oh, awesome. She's the best. She really is. She takes no crap. Boy, you ain't lying. So what's up? Just checking in. You have checked in officially. I checked the. See you, bud. Let's check ye old tunnel, or should I go? I'm gonna go up top first, and then I'll check ye old tunnel, and then we'll hang out with B. What's in the news? Coyote wandered into a snack falcon out past Brittle. Just like, walked in? Yep, sat in the sandwich cooler. Did it eat a sandwich? According to this, the coyote just stared at the cashier. That's spooky. Coyote's a spooky animal. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wow. <laughs> if I can actually break this, probably not. <laughs> it's fun though. All right, one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh shit! I guess that's it. See what's down in the tunnel. Yep. 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 It's the teens. That with ever changing voices. So like, are you always together? Yeah, I guess. That's cool. Friends are cool. Safer. Safer? Yeah, like the buddy system. Safety in numbers. Uh, you're a little paranoid, you know that? 
kid. You don't even know. Anyone hear anything about anyone here missing? Uh, yeah, actually. There's some girl I know online. She hasn't been on since Harfest. Okay, well, I think we might need a bit more than that. Okay. Is she from here? I could ask my aunt. Some place called Mulve. Mulve? You know someone from Mulve? Yeah. Do you know where Mulve is? Do you know what Mulve is? No. I heard about Mulve. My dad drives a bread truck. Mulve used to be one of his stops. What happened? You don't stop there no more. You had to pay some other guy to do it. Sounds about right. What's Mulve? I'll take you out there this weekend. Don't. It'll be fine. We'll just drive through. I need to go get back in the sun now. What's up with Mulve? Is that where she went to college? <clears throat> All right, let's fucking hang out with Beatrice. Let's go. up to today whatever you want to do proximity so what kind of party is this um a Jackie party what's a Jackie party you remember Jackie yeah she hates me Oh, that was years ago. Uh-huh. Didn't Jackie have, like, a one-woman band? Yeah. Trans World Order, give them hell. Twogs? Yeah, it's actually really great. She's got a great scream. I'm sold. Twogs. Hey, B, say it. Say twogs. 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 <laughs> anyway, this is a party, and Jackie invited me. <clears throat> Look at you. I'll go into secret parties and shit. They are not secret, May. Well, I wasn't invited. Okay, I invite you. You are now invited. Woo! -hoo! Okay, we got like a 90 minute drive ahead, so. Jeez, this better be some party. Jackie parties are worth a trip. <clears throat> I think I went here once. In Girl Scouts. To see some sort of Longest Night play. Yeah, I was there. Oh yeah, we were kind of stuck together back then. Why'd you start talking to me? I was new in town, and you seemed cool. That's it? You were smart and fun. What am I now? You know, fun. It's like super shitty that you keep saying I'm not smart. I'm sorry, I'm mostly kidding. Mostly? You're not smart either. I was valedictorian of our class. Like that means anything in the real world. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry. All right, let's go. I'm kind of nervous about this. Stay close, all right? Nothing to be scared of down there, just the party. Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Hey, Jackie. Hey, B. Oh, weird. It's May. Hey, Jackie. You brought May. Yeah, is that okay? Sure, it'll be fun. Come on in, it's a good one. Is there, like, dancing and stuff? World is ending, May. Of course there's dancing. 
Cool. Okay. <clears throat> That's why you gotta take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. Haha, <laughs> right. You don't talk this shit out. You punch that shit out. You think that's best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn to throw a punch. Can't have no sense of humor about this shit. Mace works too. Mace against fascists! Huh. <laughs> hey. Hey, this is May. Uh, let's see. Uh. Hey, May! <laughs> Fucking hell. Hey, May. Hey, May. Hey, May. Hey, May. Hey, May. Yup, that's May. So, where are you guys from? Oh, these are guys from the suburbs. Suburban Bright Harbor. Couple of born and bred harbor rats. Wow, what are you doing out here? Long story for both of us. I got time. Hold up, we're gonna go yell at the DJ real quick. We know him, he's a total dink. Okay, I'll be here. Bye, boys. They seem nice. This is very cool. No drinking, May. Okay, fine. You guys wanna dance? Yeah. Can you dance, May? Can, like, anyone here dance? Aw, shit. Oh, fucking vibing. Fucking vibing. Fucking vibing. Fucking vibing. Hey, 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 hey. What? What? Hey, I think those guys are back over there. Oh, yeah. Should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. I can dance. I never knew. I'm gonna keep dancing. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, we'll be like 10 feet away. Within eye shot. And I'll watch you. Don't drink anything someone gives you. B, I know. No, seriously. If any... B, I'll be fine. Let's go. She'll be fine. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nay, yeah, yeah, uh, 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 uh. Getting perked that shit out. Yeah, 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 uh, uh, feeling, 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 feeling it, 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 huh? Time of my fucking life, time of my fucking life, time. Dancing is easy, what's the big fuss? Hey, you. Hey, you. Do I know you? No. Nope. What's your name? Samantha Stevenson. Samantha. I like it. Sounds like a magic spell. You found me out. It was magic. Now you're good and hexed. Wow. So what's your story, Samantha Stevenson? I'm a grad student studying uh, vampires, and I play bass. Wow, that's interesting. I mean, it's just a regular bass guitar. Nothing special about it. Got it for my 16th birthday. It's got my blood on it. <laughs> Is that a problem with the vampires? Yeah, they totally covet that shit. 
That's pretty cool. <laughs> I guess. I guess I'm so used to awesome stuff that I'm pretty cool in most situations. Oh, really? Hey, give me your hand. Oh, all right. Wow. Secret handshake. Wow. Huh. <laughs> wow. It worked. Wow, okay. Okay, I should go find my friend. Let her know I'm over here. Oh yeah, you should. Samantha. Uh, hexed again. Boom. Uh, I'll be here. Wow, okay. Be right back. Hey there. The wise kitten focuses not on that which is lost, but on all that remains. Okay, wow. You just hanging out in the back of the party, dishing out wisdom? All right, well, I'll keep that in mind. Have a good one. Maybe. Oh, hey May, this is Chris. Hey Chris. Hey. Your friend B is pretty cool. Aw, she's okay. Did she tell you we saw a skeleton last night? Whoa. Yeah, haha. Uh -huh. Like, Memento Mori and shit. Yeah, yeah, sick transit Gloria nerd. Ha uh, ha ha. You're laughing a lot. Ha uh, ha 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 ha. Beatrice. That's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade? Haha, <laughs> well, a book you liked? I used to be a big reader. Then I got bored with books. My granddad used to read to me before he got dementia and died. Ha ha ha. Sorry about your granddad. It's okay, it was years ago. B's mom is dead too. Ha 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 May, may, stop. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My dog, hmm. My dog died last spring. When my house exploded, because there was a gas leak. When my dad hit a line, trying to dig up the dog we had before that, because we were going to move. And dad said he had to come with us. I'm just going to give these guys every different voice that I can think of. Wow. So, Chris, what are you majoring in? Holy sigh. Oh, that's cool. Are there a lot of jobs in that? Oh, I don't know. I just find it interesting. I feel like you have to be pretty materialistic to go to college just so you can get a job after. That's interesting because... Haha, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Check out Rich Kid over here. Gonna pay zillions of dollars to go to college just because something's interesting. BB, check this dude out. You ever worked a day in your life, Chaz? I interned at my uncle's firm, yes. Well, I bagged groceries. Okay. Ha ha ha, May, do you want to dance some more? Nah, I'm good. You sure you don't want to go dance? Yeah, my parents own their business, so... Oh, tell me about it. I know a bit about running a small business. Want to go across the street and get some pizza? I could eat, and it's a small business. You'll speak their language. Get us free slices. He doesn't like spoiled rich kids, Chuck. I'll come along. That's okay, B. Yeah, let's go. Okay. He knows all about business. She's super on top of things. Super smart and responsible. She runs like the biggest store in Possum Springs. Ha ha ha. Ha May. No. What even is Possum Springs? It's west in the mountains. A well, rich kid over here is studying politicians or whatever. He's out in the real world. Not like you college kids. May. What? Ha 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 ha. I'm kind of over the whole college thing myself. He and I basically run Possum Springs. Except there's like a ghost or something. You two live in Possum Springs? Yeah. Got a problem with that? 
Wow, you drove all the way here from Deep Hollow County? Isn't that like two hours away? No, I, uh... Why would you do that? Hey, Rick, be here, drove from, friend from Deep Hollow. Are you not a student? Yeah. What? Yeah, I am. I'm, uh... Oh, no. Oh, no, B! No! B! B, wait. No! What's that about? I think she doesn't go here. So? Dude, I don't even know. Oh shit, B! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to blow your spot up! B! What did you do? I was gonna ask the same thing! How in the world did you mess that up? She needs this. Now she's God knows where. Something happens to her. I will personally punch your teeth out. Okay, jeez. Alright, I'm gonna go up the street. You go down towards the river. We find her, make sure she's okay, and meet back here. Okay, oh god, okay. Back in school, I always told B that you were an asshole. And I really thought that was true. It's good to know I was right. Okay, okay, okay. Where are you, B? The roofs. You can get to the river quick on the roofs. Hey, move! What? Move it, goth dorks. No. I need to get up on the roof. You are not jumping on my car. I will end you right here in this pizza place parking lot. Yo, you cool down. You F off. Don't tell me to F off. Don't tell me to cool down. Get away from my damn car. If you don't get away from your damn car, I'm gonna run it over your damn head. Can you even drive? Wanna find out, citizen? I'm gonna call the cops. If you don't move, right now, I'm gonna probably make you eat this entire car, and I can do it. I'd like to see you try. The last person I hurt, physically, I hurt him very, very badly. Physically. Seriously, I'm about to... You're about to what? You know what? I don't have time for this. No, you don't. Move. Hope you break your spine. As if... B! Shit. B, I'm sorry. B, I didn't mean to blow up your spot. I'm sorry, B. Woo! Ah, shit. Got the old one, two, one, two. Oh no, I gotta do this. Aha! Up, 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 up. B! Oh fuck. I fucked it. Oh, I could have gone the cool way and I fucked up. Uh, 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 I fucked it again. Uh, let's see. Why did you run? That's like extremely dangerous. You're alone in some college town. You don't even know. This was my party. These are my parties. I come to these so I can feel normal for like two hours a month. Could have been like mugged or something all over some idiot guy. College is stupid anyway. Oh my god, you complete asshole. You will never understand this. Ever. You know what I do when I go to sleep? <laughs> this is so friggin' sad. I think, like, obsessively about going to college. Like, really, really think hard about it. And if I'm lucky, as I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. 
this thing you're so over already is like my wildest fantasy. You have a life. No, I don't. I have obligations. I have a routine. When my mom died, my life ended too. I had to take over the business because dad had a complete breakdown and the bills for my mom literally dying were so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in, gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids live there now. Now we live in an apartment as my dad wastes away. And like any idea I had of the future, this big, bright thing just gets smaller and darker every time I wake up. I'm a dream about nights like tonight. And you can't get that through your thick effing skull. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Let's see. That's not fair. None of this is fair. Nothing is fair. I work hard, and I take care of what's left of my family, and my life is slipping away. And I'm trapped in that stupid hardware store, in that stupid town. I'm just doomed. You're not the only person stuck here, you know. You gave up the thing that I can't have. I kinda hate you. I can't not hate you for that, a little. You don't know why I had to leave. Oh, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever even asked why I left? Yeah, first day you were back. Oh, right. So, why did you leave? I... I don't know. My head is in pieces right now. Any answer I could give would sound nuts. Oh. Well, that's illuminating. Oh, shut up. All this shit going on this past week? Ghosts and shit? I met God. He was an asshole. Uh-huh. Ugh. Look. We're both trapped. But we're trapped together. Better to be trapped with someone else, right? Listen. I'm sorry. About... Like, it's okay. We're like the best available friends. <laughs> oh God. What river is this? Red winder. All the iron in the water turns the rocks orange. Must be weird for them. All the rocks on land get to keep their colors. And the river rocks are always looking up at them. Hmm. So like, actual question. Do you think we'd be friends if we weren't like, stuck together in the same town? Like, we were stuck together in Girl Scouts? Like, uh, is this just, what's the word? Proximity? Yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't. My entire life feels like running after something that keeps moving away into the distance while I stay in the same place. And I guess proximity counts for a lot right now. Hmm. Proximity. Do you want to go back to the party? Nah. We can come to another one sometime. I'll learn to talk good to whatever guy you're obviously trying to get with. Oh, good. Thanks. B, you should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. B, I am like more embarrassing than you will ever be. You are like stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. Thanks. And you're not as big as a total idiot as I act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes, I know that. But you're a genuinely good person. I'll take it. You know what the Fort Lucene fish fountain would say? What? Beatrice Santello. We should get burgers and shakes on the way home. Oh, wow. A revelation from God. The good God. The fake one. 
crap. I didn't get her info. Ooh. The super cute girl I met at the party? We did a secret handshake? Is that a euphemism? Crap. Yeah, we need to come back. Okay, you. Let's go home. Home again, home again. <clears throat> Bombshell. Mayday, BB. Stuck together. Don't suck together. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Isn't that cute? Look at them. Oh, they're cute. Oh, so baby. Mayday, baby. Yeah, so cute. He was my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Hi. Hello. Oh, wow. You okay? No. Okay. So what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're gonna have to start talking. You're gonna have to start talking sometime, kitten. Wish I could. Why can't you? I don't even know. That's how it is sometimes. It's not always a great reason. I know. It's just I've been having these dreams, and I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost. And I've had these horrible nightmares that feel really real. And I think something really bad is going to happen. And I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff. And where's it all going? What even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight. But like, everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I had that big fight with mom. Kidding, it's okay. And, and, and... Shh, kitten. Take a breath. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. <laughs> Malloy? Carvo? Ever think about, you know, the afterlife? I don't have a life as it is! Why, Garbo? Do you think there's someone up there watching? Hey, I just hope that someone's watching at this time slot. These are the big questions, Garbo! Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a churchgoer, Garbo? Hey, the last time I was in church... They hadn't invented religion yet. You are making it up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. You could, Malloy. But it would be... A whopper! Ha 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 ha. Coming up next, Garbo and I contact the dead. <sighs> Good night. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hey, kid. Went to a party. Danced at a party. Ran around in the rain. Met a hot girl. Totally didn't get her number. She's a bombshell, though. Wow, sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag. But all in all, I'd party again. We need to do more parties. You are very right. Alright, I'm off to bed. Laters. Hey, you. Hey, me. I'm so tired from tonight. I bet. Did you run all the way to the river? Yeah, on the roofs and stuff. That and dancing really take it out of you. That's like really... That's really nice, May. That you did that. Aw, oh, it wasn't nothing. 
Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. Oh, I never go away. You'll never be rid of me. I can think of worse fates. Oh, how sweet. How sweet. Oh, they've they reconcile, they understand each other. Um more. Um it's not like they're amazing to each other, amazing friends, but uh you know, it's the people you have. And it's not like they're terrible to each other either. But they did have to uh, work some shit out. And I think they have, which is nice. Um, so, I dread to think of what happens when I place my head upon this pillow. But we're about to find out. Bedtime? Yes. All right, let's see what weird shit happens this time. Oh, nothing. I guess God told us to F off and we don't go to that place anymore. Well, that about does it for this week, folks. Or not this week, this day, because uh, we got another one. Um, Whoops, not that. Um, yeah. Uh, Happy New Year. I'll see everybody tomorrow. Uh, thanks for watching today. Uh, hope nobody does anything stupid and crazy tonight. Uh, yeah, just hang out. Hopefully you got your alcohol ahead of time like any reasonable person would. You know, we're making pizza tonight. We're not even ordering. Um, we're just gonna hang out and have a good time. So, uh, hope you guys, uh, you know, get to do a little bit of that, you know. If you got people you're living with, hang out with them. Hang out on Discord or Zoom with your friends. Play some RuneScape like I've been doing. Fucking do whatever, you know? Uh, and it's not like we're celebrating anything in particular. We're not rejoicing about anything. It's just like, here's a fucking excuse to just be a little dumb. A little dumb, you know? And just have too much to eat, too much to drink, and uh, stay up too late. And just kind of, you know... Think about something else. So, uh, yeah, do your thing. And I'll see everybody tomorrow. And I think we got like a couple more days of this. Uh, and then we'll be done. So, so uh, until that time comes, uh, I'll see y'all later. Tomorrow, it's 3 30. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye.